What's up guys, this is Tom Sorcy. I'm back again with another Storm Ball Motion Analysis video. This time with a new camera angle. I know you're pretty excited about that. Anyways, today we're talking about the rocket ship. And I'm really excited to talk about this too because, as we'll talk a little bit more later, I've had a lot of success with this ball already and it's become very important in my court arsenal for a number of reasons. So let's kind of get right into it. The R2S solid cover stock. You will recognize the R2S from a lot of balls in the Storm line that you probably love. We have the IQ Tour, which has been around almost as long as the High Road, which has the Pearl version of the R2S. The IQ 30 has the Pearl version of the R2S, so does the Rocket Ship. R2S Hybrid Crux Pearl. Um, and the hybrid also in the original rocket, High Road Solid R2S. It goes all the way back to, uh, I believe, Victory Road Solid, Victory Road Pearl, all kinds of stuff. The point is R2S has been around for a long time, and it has a lot of success in our line. Booster Core, you'll recognize that from the other rockets rg 2.53 differential 0.44 you know i usually don't talk about those things but i'm going to later and you'll see why i think it's important taking a look at mine uh four and a half inch pin kicked out with a hole past the axis you're probably noticing that a lot of the pins you've seen recently on mine have been similar there's kind of a reason for that it's not that most of my balls are drilled that way because they're not it's that it just happens to be the ones that you see but also, I've been trying to get some stronger pins. My axis has moved with some changes I've made in my game. And I've been trying to get a different shape out of my stuff, especially on national tour patterns, where I haven't been able to get the sort of ball motion that I think matches up best on those patterns. So I've been experimenting with a lot of things. So what you'll notice about what I'm bowling on here is it's the same 38-foot sport pattern that I used last time. It's going to be a little bit different, though, because of a number of factors involving the bowling center. As usual, I'm at uh, Brad Angelo Lanes uh, here in Lockport, New York, and they're doing some construction in there, revamping the whole place. So I think that during the construction process, got a little dusty, a lot more friction in the lanes. So you're going to see me kind of wheeling it for as fresh as this is, just because that was really my only choice. Let's pick it up here and take a look at some shots and we'll see how it goes. So the reason that I really like this ball is I've been able to use this on a number of different patterns from short to long with a lot of success since the day I've drilled it. Different patterns, different ratios, different lengths. It's looked good on everything that I've bowled on and I didn't have a lot of success with the original rocket for a couple of different reasons that we'll get into actually in a different video but this has been amazing for me. It has slotted right in, basically as my second ball, once I get away from my stronger, slower response stuff, or on certain patterns, I use it right out of the gate. What makes this ball so interesting to me is that I've been able to use it over a course of a lot of games, too. And what I mean by that is I've been able to use it for four, five, six, seven games in a block, and I never get that kind of mileage out of my equipment at all and i've been able to use this for whole chunks and full blocks without having to change because it's very versatile it adjusts well to the hand changes that you make you're going to see here that for a point i make a big jump left i go about five left and i try to get a little more on the side of the ball and take a look and see if i can still get it to hit and i get one a little right i roll a two pin I try and stay there again and just try to throw in a little better and not get it so far to the right, and it looks awesome. No matter what I do, it still looks pretty good. When most balls would have to be put back in the bag because they plaque as oil gets down lanes and the fronts dry up, I've been able to make some adjustments with my hand and my speed and get this ball to continue to look good over long periods of time. So the ball that I compared it to today is the IQ Tour Solid which you've seen me throw in a previous video, but I wanted to throw it again because I feel like they're very similar balls. And the IQ Tour was a ball that I used to use a lot 
as my kind of go-to ball in the middle of blocks too. The problem that I was seeing with it was that it always seemed a little too weak for me. Uh, I either had to really kind of get after it or try to be slow with it on a lot of different patterns. And that's kind of where the RG numbers come into play. Differential for the rocket ship at 0.44 versus the 0.29 of the IQ Tour. As your differential goes up, we're talking more flare potential. As it goes down, we're talking less. And you can see that in this rocket ship. It's overall stronger. And that's kind of been what I've been missing in my arsenal. Something just a little stronger than the IQ Tour, but still the same medium response time. And this is slotted right into that hole. I'm so impressed with this ball. You should know that I'm never gushing about bowling balls in these videos. I'm never saying, this is the greatest ball ever made. And oh my god, you can't believe how much this ball does whatever. This is the closest I've come to gushing about something because I've found this to be so versatile. This is what I've been looking for. And I'm so excited that it has been released. I've got something now where I feel like bringing on anybody. And... It's such a great feeling knowing that I don't have to dig into the bag every two games because I feel like I'm losing my look. So let's sum it up here for you, as we do every time. Uh, the rocket ship, medium friction. This slots in just after your stronger, slow response balls. Usable in a number of different volumes, a number of different lengths, fantastic and medium response time and that's kind of why i love it so much medium medium it's usable in a lot of different environments and i can't recommend a ball right now more highly than this you'll notice that the high roads have been around forever and the iq tours are making their stand as well um, being around almost as long and i can see this rocket ship sliding in like those two. I think we're going to see it around for a long time. I don't think it's going anywhere, and I'm going to have to order some more because it's pretty great. As usual, you can find me on Facebook, you can find me on Twitter, you can find me on YouTube, and get some good subscribers. Please leave me comments, leave me questions. I tried to use the different camera angle today to try to give you a truer look of the lane, um, more of what it actually is instead of the optical illusion that you would see from the foul line. Also to get my body out of the way so you see less of me and more of the balls. I hope you like it. It's going to be the same camera angle for the next two videos, snap lock and the racket. Let me know what you guys think. I can even try something different after those two as well, but leave me in the comments. Let me know if you have anything you want me to try or do throw it in there as well. And if you have any questions, always, you can find me in any of the places right there on my screen. So let me know, and I hope you liked it. Thanks.